for this week's uh, video. We have some updates and we're gonna talk about some other stuff too. Um, the update for this week is we've got a new OWC Thunderbolt 4 dock. Uh, connects everything via Thunderbolt 4 into our Mac Mini. Uh, even though it's got plenty of ports on it, I just kind of wanted something that I could have like a card reader, uh, a couple USB 3 ports, uh, connect more Thunderbolt ports. You know, I've got some hard drives and the Apollo all connect Thunderbolt. So it just kind of patches everything in nice and neatly. Uh, and then the other thing we added was a KRK S10.4 subwoofer. And with that subwoofer, we also bought a foot switch um, that I might do a review on. There's not much to review on it. It's just two switches and a cable. And basically we bought that switch so we could bypass the sub and just listen to the Focals or turn everything on in here as a like 2.1 type system. Um, has made the room sound more full um, that I did not realize we were missing. Um, so basically that's kind of what's new in the studio. The rest of this video is gonna talk about, um, you can see them behind me here. They are the Aventone Mix Cubes. And to be honest, they sound terrible, but we're not going for how they sound. Um, the idea behind these little mix cubes, and I've got a pair of them, so I can run them in stereo, is to basically make sure everything that I've mixed on the big speakers, the Focals with the sub, all that translates outside of here. So when I take it to the car or someone else's system, it kind of translates and still sounds pretty close to what it was on the big speakers. Now, it won't sound exactly like it did on the big speakers or with the with a sub or anything, but it gives me kind of a real world um, setting. So with that setting, we'll be able to kind of hear mostly mid range. There's not a lot of bottom end and there's not a lot of top end. So you have kind of this scoop in the middle, which is kind of where everything sits. Like a lot of our major hearing is in that range, like things that we notice a lot. So like vocals will sit, might sound a little loud so you can bring them down, but then they sound quiet on the big ones, but they sound great on the little ones. Then you kind of got a good idea of how, how everything else is going to sit within your mix. Um, do I recommend them as just a across the board? Like I'm going to get these to mix everything on. Would not say that because they're not flattering. They don't have a lot of bottom end. They don't have a lot of top end. They're kind of just the mid range. So to kind of sum it up, these uh, these speakers aren't real flattering, but they will get you kind of a real world sense of what's going on in your mixes. Uh, there's, a, I may have said it already, but Colt Caparoon has a great video on the mid range. Uh, he's uh, he's got a good great video on how he uses his, um, which is kind of how I use mine. Um, a lot of people use them in the same way. It's kind of check mixes, kind of make sure you got the mid range right, so you know that things will translate outside your room. Uh, but yeah, if you guys can find a pair of them, I recommend getting them. I bought mine used for about $350. Um, you can buy them new, for, I think for like $600 or something like that. But yeah, they just, they've got like an XLR connector on the back and a volume knob. There's nothing fancy about them. They're just a single cone speaker. Um, I've got a buddy who built his own, which was kind of a neat experiment. Um, I might be try to get a video of him, see if he's got a video about him talking about that to link to. But. It's, it's kind of an interesting set of speakers to listen to. Like nothing sounds flattering on them and nothing will ever sound flattering on them. I've listened to records that are already mixed and they sound, they actually still sound kind of good, but they don't sound like I'm listening through a full system. Um, my mixes have kind of been an experiment. I might do a video on that, on how we're mixing through them, uh, through Luna and kind of hearing them and, and hearing the big speakers and kind of trying to figure out how to make that video work. But, uh, you know, if you like our videos and you liked this one, like it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've got more content that's rolling out. We have content that's already rolled out. You know, share it, like it, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications when we got other videos coming out or videos that have, that have just come out like today. Anyways, uh, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.